Hello YouTube, Phil 20 today. What I've got for you in front of us is a pretty cool package. Um, this package was sent from a company and I want to go ahead and show you what we got here. Okay. Was in a bubble wrap package, and then another bubble wrap package. Okay, let's. Uh... Missouri Wind and Solar David Extension Two Zero Two. Nothing else in the package. We got two packages here. And here is our uh, DC water heater elements. I picked two of them up. Now, if you followed my channel before, everybody's going to be saying, well, you don't have a water heater. So why would you need DC water heater elements if you don't have a water heater tank? You've got a, uh, a tankless system. And I agree. So I have to uh, agree with that, but... I'm going to definitely get a water heater tank. Mm. Made in Pakistan. So, if you're an avid uh, purchaser of American products, this was made in Pakistan, by the way. What we can do is do a few different tests with this. I want to check the resistance on this and if, you know, we can find a water heater element similar resistance, then it doesn't have to be this specific brand. This is SES brand. I mean, I, I don't know what that stands for. All I know is it uh, was covered for a 24 volt 600 watt heater element so basically I got about 1200 watts element right here that is equivalent I mean these uh, to be honest with you all of the uh, all of it looks like it's been beat up as soon as I've got it, it looks like it's been like beat to death the, the element right here looks kind of bent out of shape um, I don't know if you can see that it's bent bent out of shape you can see that so I mean that's kind of funny uh, it's pretty soft metal so I was actually able to bend it myself with just like that look at that now it's still kind of not as bad you know uh, So, the metal is really soft on this element. Here's another one. It's bent. All bent, all bent out of shape. You see how it's bent right there? See how it goes down and then straight? So, you know, it's all out of shape. The metal is definitely really soft metal here. It looks okay, but besides all the beat, the the dings and scratches on it, 
So, you know, I picked these up and I figured it would be a pretty good promotion for their company, but and I was expecting to get like a sticker or some kind of a poster or, you know, something from them, but they, they didn't send nothing. I'm not too worried about it. But definitely understand that this element, you know, it. you can see how they're definitely not identical. You see that? I don't know if you can see where it's been smashed or crimped. And you can see both of them's been crimped. You know, and one's a lot longer than the other. And you can see how one's been crimped differently. It's, uh... So, I mean, this is what you get with, uh cheap elements I mean they're real cheap so I, mean, I can't say that they was expensive because they was cheap I and mean, I don't know why they would smash it I mean the tip on this one's been you know blunt blunt looks like it's been dropped I mean and these obviously been uh, pr purposely uh, pressed right here on both of them it was both purposely pressed, and you can see this one was pressed more with uh, a different machine than this one. So, it's uh, water heater elements. Um, look online, just type in direct current water heater elements, 600 watts. See you later.